And meanwhile, police are literally under fire and attack daily in this country. So far this year, 30 police officers have been shot and killed in the line of duty. Thousands more have been seriously wounded, assaulted, stabbed with knives, hit with bricks and rocks and frozen water bottles, canes and bats and hockey sticks and Molotov cocktails. Members of Biden's campaign donated to a fund dedicated to bailing these violent offenders out of jail, which, by the way, if he becomes president, there will be no bail, just like they have no bail in New York. In Oregon, far left governor Kate Brown banned police from actually using tear gas. Same thing in Seattle. We saw the Seattle mayor make that dumb decision. And Portland's incredibly dumb mayor, Ted Wheeler, prevented police from dispersing rioters and arrested, arresting arsonists. Under his watch, a federal courthouse was attacked, lit on fire for weeks on end until the president was sent, sent people in, troops in to protect those federal buildings. Over the weekend in Portland, one apparent Trump supporter was shot by a self-proclaimed member of Antifa. That city has experienced nearly 100 straight nights of riot, violent riots. Meanwhile, for weeks in Seattle, a prominent neighborhood was held hostage by a group of far-left rioters. City officials forced the police to totally abandon their local precinct. Their genius mayor, Jenny Durkin, she was telling us it's a summer of love zone. That was until two young African-American teens were murdered in the so-called autonomous chop and chaz zone. And of course, the media mob, they tried their best to cover up all of this, this massive wave of violence. They compared Seattle's chop chaz zone to a street festival while they're being corrected on live TV. When Minneapolis was burning, MSDNC said that it was a mostly peaceful protest. And look, look at your screen. You got to look at this. You can't make this up. Fake news CNN referring to the carnage in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Look at what the bottom third says. Fiery, but mostly peaceful. Take a good look at that picture. Fake news CNN wonders why people chant CNN sucks. Now, of course, they weren't the only ones running cover for an angry far left mob. Take a look for yourself. Respectfully, should that be done by a commission or the city council, not a mob in the middle of the night throwing it into the harbor? People will do what they do. There's violence across the whole country. Do you disavow yeah, the violence from Antifa? That's happening in Portland right now? That's, that, that's, that, that's a myth that's being spread only in Washington, D.C. About Antifa in Portland? Yes. It's a myth. What you see, don't believe what your eyes tell you.